So here we've got some sodium thiosulfate, got a measuring cylinder, we've got our conical flask with an X on some paper, we've got a stop clock, we've got a 10 milliliter uh, measuring cylinder for the hydrochloric acid. So the first step, we're gonna pour our sodium thiosulfate into the measuring cylinder and measure out 50 milliliters. Okay, the next step, we're going to pour our 50 centimeter cubed of sodium thiosulfate into the conical flask. And then we're going to add our 10 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid, and then we're going to start our stop clock. And we're going to stop the stop clock once we can see that the X has disappeared. So stop your clock, uh, stop clock once you can see that there's no X. Okay, now we're gonna repeat the experiment with 24 grams per decimeter cubed of sodium thiosulfate. And then we're gonna pour our thiosulfate into the conical flask like before. And then we're gonna have our stop clocks ready. So when we pour our hydrochloric acid in, we're gonna start our stop clock. So stop the clock, the stop clock once you can no longer see the X. So now we're gonna have a go at doing it with a stronger concentration. So we've got 40 grams per decimeter cubed of sodium thiosulfate. And we're gonna pour 50 centimeter cubes into a measuring cylinder and pour it into our conical flask. And then we're gonna add our hydrochloric acid and start our stop clock. So stop your stop clock when you can't see the X. And we're gonna repeat this experiment three times with each concentration and then we're going to work out an average. <laughs> 